Hey everyone, I've just read another book. This one is The Price of Everything, The True Cost of Living by Eduardo Porter. Really good book this. Um, if you like learning things, um, this will teach you something. In fact, it says on the back, everyone could learn something from this wise and clever book. There you go. It asks a lot of questions and essentially shows how everything can be priced. So um, it would probably be useful to go through chapters so you've got the price of things you know behind everything is a price that's, that's the premise of the book uh, a really good one the price of happiness and guess what you do get happier as you get richer um, but only up to a certain point so whereas americans make more money than the french the french are happier because the americans give away so much of their time they're, they're so busy working they don't get to enjoy the extra money they have so they're not as happy as the french so if you ever ask yourself how can i be more happy um, would I be happier if I was richer? Uh, or any kind of question like that, then this is a good book. Another really good chapter, The Price of Life. The Cost of Life, it might be called. Um, essentially, how are lives valued? Um, how do governments make decisions about what drugs... For example, in the NHS, what drugs are worth having on the NHS? You know, Because if it costs £10 million to pay for a certain drug to be on the NHS but it will only save £5,000 worth of life a year, you see. Um, they're not going to do it, which may seem harsh, but you know, at the end of the day, everyone has to be treated the same, I guess, and that always applies except for when it comes to yourself, to me. Would I spend £10 million to save that person's life? No. Would I spend £10 million to save my life? Oh, yes, of course you would. So, really good. You know, this is the kind of book when I'll be out on a on the train or something, and everyone will say, oh, that looks interesting, and it is really, really interesting. It's not my favourite book I've read all year, but it's certainly a very good one. I've actually read this before, about three years ago, and I saw it on the bookshelf and thought, that, that was really good. Um, I'd give it about six out of ten, maybe seven out of ten. Maybe I'm just becoming fussy as I used to be. I'll give it a six and a half out of ten. Well worth the read. Let me read you the back, because that will give you a good overview of what the book's about. Why is a life saved from a terrorist attack worth two saved from a natural disaster? Why are women more valuable than ever? That's a good chapter, the cost of women. Why do Americans tip when Europeans don't? How can orange juice be used to predict the weather? The price of everything starts with a simple premise. Behind every decision we make lies a price. I won't read the rest of it to you. It's worth reading. Um, I enjoyed it. I think you'll enjoy it. And would I read anything else by Eduardo Porter? Probably, because this is that good. Full of interesting free economics -y nuggets, according to The Guardian. I like The Guardian. Clever, stylish, and full of surprising insights. In other words, priceless by Sylvia Nasser, author of A Beautiful Mind. It's not the kind of book if you picked up, I'd say don't read that. It's rubbish. It's really good. It's really good. I'd say that's really good. Read it. So, another book read. Another book reviewed. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, see you again soon.